Hey, good morning. This is Pastor John from 15.5 Ministries. Excited to share with you a message from God's Word today to start your work week off. I love it. God's Word is so wonderful and it, it brings us life. It gives us hope. It reassures us of God's promises to us. And in that Word, we hear God speak to us. I love it. 15.5 uh, Ministries. The reason we're 15.5 is because in John 15.5, Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. In me, you bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So in Christ, we can do all kinds of things because it is his power that is working in us. Last week, I shared with you about uh, writing God's word down so that we could have um, a way to remember his word so that it could bring us comfort. Uh, this week, as I was doing my devotions, I wrote down several verses that really meant a lot to me. And last week I challenged you to write down those verses yourself on an index card. And I have another challenge for you. What are you doing for devotions for yourself? Like for me, I'm reading the Bible, the one year Bible. And I'm also reading a book from uh, Heidi Baker called Reckless Devotion. I'm reading from Graham Cook, Radical Perceptions, and I'm also reading uh, from Paul Tripp, um, New Morning Mercies, which I have right here. This tree provides a good holding spot for this. And, and I love uh, God's word and how it helps us grow. And the reason I'm sharing that with you is not to draw any attention to myself, but hey, what are you doing to grow? I mean, you can't just go through life uh, saying that you're a Christian and wanting God to speak to you, but not being fed. What are you doing for your devotional life? What are you doing to hear God speak to you? I love reading the Word of God. Right now, I'm in the Gospels and the New Testament, and it's so awesome to to read about Jesus' life and what he is doing as he travels around and the miracles that he performs and how he is working with the disciples and training them. I love it. In the Old Testament, reading about how God established his covenant with his uh, people Israel, it's, it's awesome. And then the Psalms, you know, the cries of David. Do you have a cry? What do you, what do you, what would be your heart cry to the Lord right now? What are you going through in your life? God listens. God cares. I love it. In the Bible, it says he bottles all of our tears. That's how much he cares about you. He cares about everything that you're going through. You know, those verses that I told you about last week to write down, I, I wrote some of them down right here. I told you that you were going to hold me accountable, and here they are. I love it. These are some of the ones that meant a lot to me. From Numbers chapter 14. The Lord is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, forgiving iniquity and transgression. Isn't that awesome? I mean, he's a he he's slow to anger. Are you are you slow to anger? I know at times I'm not. Man, I tell you, something can happen in my life. And boom, just like that, I can be angered, angry. God is slow to anger, abounding in steadfast love. I mean, I want to meditate on this verse. When, when I come across people that are annoying to me, I want to be like, okay, I want to abound in steadfast love. I want to be forgiving because he has forgiven my iniquity and my transgressions. Here's another verse that meant a lot to me this week. Colossians 2, you were, you were dead because of your sins and because your sinful nature was not yet cut away. Then God made you alive with Christ, for he forgave all our sins. He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. <laughs> Can you believe that? He took the charges away. Have you ever charged anything on a credit card? Let's, let's see a show of hands. Who's got credit card dead out there? Okay, how would you feel right now if somebody came up to you and said, your credit card is at zero? 
<laughs> I'm looking at my audience out there. I love it. Yeah, we'd be excited, wouldn't we? At zero. That's what it was like with our sins. God canceled it because of Jesus dying on the cross. He nailed it to the cross and said, it's canceled. It's forgiven. Wow, by nailing it to the cross. I love it. Colossians 2. What verses have meant something to you this week? And how about this from 2 Corinthians 4? We have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. Do you, do you feel like things are just pressing in on you? It says you're not crushed, though. We're perplexed, hmm, but not in despair. Persecuted. When you're, when you're being persecuted, it feels like God has abandoned you, but it says persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. Isn't that cool? We carry around the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may be revealed in our body. I love that verse. Wow. Second Corinthians, Paul writes, but thank God he has made us his captives and continues to lead us along in Christ's triumphal procession. Now he uses us to spread the knowledge of Christ everywhere like a sweet perfume. Isn't that cool? One time I walked into Keystone and one of the guys came up to the front desk and he goes, you smell good. I'm not really sure why he said that. Maybe it's because in that place, there wasn't really a lot of pleasant smells. You know, maybe, you know, in his recovery process, he's just going through a lot and it was just refreshing to him to smell somebody that maybe was clean and fresh and had cologne on. I don't know. I mean, the good news of Jesus is like a sweet perfume, it says. And it says here that he uses us to spread the knowledge of Christ everywhere. What are you doing to spread the knowledge of Christ? Are you just living for yourself? At 15.5 Ministries, we are doing everything we can and continually talking about how we can spread the knowledge of Christ to a world that needs him. We want to spread the knowledge of Christ and let people know that attached to Christ, they can produce much fruit. But apart from him, they can do nothing. Wow, I love that. I love these verses. I, once again, I'm, I want to encourage you. What are you doing to grow in the word of the Lord? What are you doing to spread the knowledge of Christ to people who need to hear the good news? Pray about it. Ask us about it. Let, let, let's work together to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. I love it. I love it. He is the vine. We are the branches. Attached to him, we can do anything. This is Pastor John from 15.5 Ministries. Once again, out uh, having a devotion out in the great outdoors. And it's beautiful. God's wonderful creation. You are his creation. He loves you. He wants to use you. Have a great day in the Lord.